It is a phenomena that has occurred since I've been alive. We did not have workout gyms 64 years ago. We did not have uh, places you went and paid monthly to work on your body because it had no labor that you had to do physically. And so we recognize that in order to stay healthy, in order to live abundantly, you've got to deny yourself. So here, here's what I'm simply trying to say. Your time spent in fitness clubs takes away from your time of doing other things. And you must believe that by that denying of yourself, something greater comes. God's not going to wave a magic wand and do things for you. He did it at Calvary. Then he wrote down the instruction on how to succeed. But only by your faith will you find out what he means by his instruction. And if you're not serious about it, he'll see to it you don't understand it anyway. So our time in fitness clubs, denying ourselves for a greater reward, all these aforementioned examples of real-life strategies prove Christ's word does not contradict himself at all, that it actually is a concept of absolute fundamental foundational truth that affects every area of life for people that ever accomplish anything, including salvation. If we deny ourselves by following his word, we are investing in a greater reward, accompanied by abundance as we obey the process. And this proven truth that we've spoken of this morning of self-denial for future gain and abundance is used every single day by hundreds of millions of people who understand the principles of sacrifice for future gain. However, Jesus the Christ is instructing us on an even longer term investment with a return on our investment that is so mind-blowing, only through faith will you even begin to comprehend it, so mind-blowing that people cannot receive this word. Why? Because there is something they have not, and that is faith in God. Do not say, do not come to me and tell me you have faith when your actions do not align with God's principles. You have misunderstood the whole concept of salvation. If actions don't align with principles, then you're telling yourself you have faith and giving yourself credit for workouts at the gym that you've never performed. You are giving yourself credit for a return you're expecting on investments you've never made. God's word is so logical, but the reason the world can't understand it is because it's the way and the thought process of God that to just want to glean a little wisdom and use it for personal gain and not know the author. God's prosperity is measured in the soul. It's not measured in bank accounts. It's not measured in stocks. It's, it's not measured in assets, but it's measured by treasures invested in heavenly things. How much investment have I made? I, can I expect, now honestly, we laugh about, if you sow, you'll reap. But honestly, is that not absolute truth? Can I expect a return on what I never invest? Is that logical? Yeah, Christians do it all the time, don't they? The world knows better than that, but any time we get the Bible involved or Jesus involved, suddenly it's foolishness into this present world, and the devil wants to make sure it becomes that way to you as well. And that's why you come to the house of God, to get your mind washed. God's word says it like this. In 2 Corinthians, he just simply, Jesus, the word of God says, But I say, he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountiful. How much investment have we made? 